Happy Sunday, everybody. Last week, we discovered how Jesus obeyed God's plan by being baptized. When we left off, God the Holy Spirit had just come down to be with Jesus. This week, we pick up where we left off, and we're going to see what happens next. So if you have your Bibles, I want you to turn to Matthew chapter 4. After Jesus was baptized and the Holy Spirit came to be with him, the Holy Spirit led Jesus into the desert. While he was there, Jesus was fasting, which means he was choosing not to eat for some time so he could focus on more important things, like talking to God the Father and his important mission. After 40 days with no food, he was very hungry. Satan, who hates God and his people, came to Jesus and tried to tempt him to do wrong things. He wanted to stop Jesus from completing his mission. First, he tried to distract Jesus with food. He said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. He was telling Jesus to prove he was God the Son by making bread out of rocks. But Jesus answered with words from the Bible. He said, It is written, Man must not live only on bread. He must also live on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Jesus needed to focus on God's word so he could be ready for his mission. Next, Satan took Jesus to the very top of the temple in Jerusalem. This time, Satan tried to use the Bible's words to tempt Jesus. If you are really the Son of God, he said, then throw yourself off of the edge of the building. After all, the Bible says that the Lord will command his angels to take good care of you. They will lift you up in their hands. Then you won't trip over your stone. Jesus knew that the Father would save him if he jumped off the building, but he also knew that it would be wrong to make the Father prove it. Jesus answered, It is also written, Do not test the Lord your God. Finally, Satan took Jesus to a very high mountain and used his power to show Jesus all the kingdoms of the world. If you bow down and worship me, he said, I will give you all of this. Jesus said to him, Get away from me, Satan. It is written, Worship the Lord your God. He is the only one you should serve. Then Satan left Jesus in the desert, and angels came and took care of him. Jesus had an important mission to save everyone from their sins, so he was taking time to prepare for that mission. Satan was trying to do everything he could to distract and discourage Jesus and to make him doubt. But Jesus knew what the Bible says, and he was able to use the Bible's words to fight temptation. Temptation is when we think about doing something that we know is wrong. We can use the Bible's words to fight temptation, but we can't fight by ourselves. Just like Jesus had the Holy Spirit with him, followers of Jesus had the Holy Spirit with them to help them fight temptation, to give them the power they need to overcome. So when you think about doing something that you know is wrong, ask God the Holy Spirit to help you to give you the power you need to fight temptation. And read your Bibles every day so that you can discover the truth you need to fight back.